Good Agricultural Practices, or GAP, it's a concept which has been developed by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO. And the aim for GAP is for looking at agricultural commodities and developing a safe and healthy product at the end of the whole supply chain. Now to do that, one has to then develop what is the best agricultural practices both pre and post harvest for a particular commodity. The GAP approach has been used quite successfully in horticulture, but now it's being applied to commodities such as rice. Now one of the challenges is that to develop a uh, approach which is ratified at a national level so that farmers can get accreditation but also to have that approach so as ratified at an international level and meets international guidelines um, and there are quite a number of different guidelines for example the international um, compliance for plant protection so we're looking at, at a process which is providing a product which is not only safe but also consistent with something which is sustainable in environmental context. So we're looking at sustainable resource management. So in currently there is rice GAP being developed in Vietnam and also in Thailand and there's a lot of other interest in Southeast Asia in developing rice GAP. But we're still at the early stages. In Vietnam at the moment there's about a hundred farmers that have been ratified usually as groups and they are ratified at, by a, a national committee and those farmers are able to get a 20 percent premium on the rice that they produce but whether that can be sustained because if you have lots of farmers who become ratified then maybe it might be difficult to maintain that economic incentive but more importantly is if you're an exporting nation such as Vietnam and Thailand to certain markets such as Europe then it is expected that the exporting nation as is providing a product which is ratified as being consistent with GAP. So that is an expectation which is going to develop even more so. Particularly in Europe, the European Union, there any product that's imported has to be certified to be GAP. So that is the incentives and the needs. So it's an incentive at a farmer level but also at a national level. But with countries like the Philippines which don't export but import, it's still important to have GAP because the GAP also is an indication of society demands and society is now demanding more and more, particularly from the cities, that they have a product which is safe and safe and nutritious for them and their families. So if you're a farmer in the Philippines that's producing rice for a domestic market, then there's also going to be, as time develops, uh, an, a need, an essential need to develop rice under GAP practices. Well, in Vietnam, we have a study site in An Giang, in the province, in the Mekong Delta, and that province is seen as being a, um, it's a model province for good agricultural practice for rice. And so part of that GAP is developing best practice, both pre and post harvest. So we're working very closely with the Vietnamese government and the provincial government in An Giang as a model where we bring in our natural resource management technologies from the Irrigated Rice Research Consortium and helping them to develop the best practice for pre and post harvest. And so now we've been rolling it out um, since the beginning of 2009 and now it has been labelled under a five reductions one must do initiative and that is now taking um, place in Anjiang it's generated lots of support from the provincial government and now the local gov the national government is looking how that can be diffused to other provinces in the Mekong.